Mastering the Art of Polite Interruptions Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're focusing on an essential aspect of English conversation, the importance of apologizing for interruptions. In this video, we'll cover why apologizing for interruptions is crucial and how it can greatly improve your overall communication skills. Interrupting someone while they're speaking can sometimes be seen as rude or disrespectful. It breaks the flow of the conversation and might make the other person feel that their thoughts are not valued. However, in fast-paced, collaborative, or informal discussions, interruptions may be inevitable. The key here is to apologize when we interrupt. Apologizing for interruptions is crucial because it shows respect and acknowledges that you're stepping into someone else's speaking time. It conveys that you value their thoughts and input, even though you have something pressing to say. In some cultures, particularly in Western societies, politeness is given high importance. Apologizing for an interruption is considered a courtesy and reflects good manners. People who consistently apologize for interruptions often create a positive impression and foster better relationships. When we interrupt without apologizing, it can lead to communication barriers, misunderstandings, and even conflicts. By contrast, when we apologize, it can smooth over the disruption caused by the interruption, keeping the conversation's atmosphere friendly and open. The art of apologizing for an interruption is about timing and word choice. Common phrases include, sorry to interrupt, but pardon my interruption, or excuse me for interrupting, but Using these phrases shows respect and can help maintain the conversational flow. That's all for today's lesson on the importance of apologizing for interruptions. Remember, good communication is not just about the words we use, but also about how we use them. By mastering the art of polite interruptions, we can make our conversations more respectful, effective, and productive. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to practice, and as always, keep learning and growing. See you in the next video.